On the night of June 18th at 11 p.m. Central Time, SpaceX was attempting a routine six-engine static fire with Starship 36 when it suddenly exploded. Just before the explosion, we could see the top half of Starship rupture and dump a bunch of cryogenic propellants, likely from the methane hatter tank. Initial data indicates a nitrogen COPV in the payload bay, usually used to spin up the Raptor turbo pumps, failed below its proof pressure, causing the payload bay to rupture. This in turn ripped apart the header tank transfer tubes, which contain liquid methane and liquid oxygen. These two propellants then mixed and ignited, causing an explosion. This initial explosion caused the forward dome above the main fuel tank to fill, which ended up igniting the rest of the propellants, causing a second, even bigger explosion. Starship 36 has been completely lost and a lot of ground support equipment at the Massey's test site has also been damaged, meaning that even if Starship 37 was ready to be static fired, it wouldn't be able to, so it could be a while until the next flight of Starship. Starship 36 would have been flown on the 10th full stack test flight of Starship, but sadly this is yet another major setback for the Starship program, following three consecutive field flights of Starship Block 2. This has also been the first on-ground explosion since SN4 in 2020. Luckily, safety protocols were followed and nobody was injured.